Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave. This shave of the day is going to be a preview for you because I happen to get a hold of uh, an advanced, I'm going to say advanced copy, but uh, an advanced soap and aftershave from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements that has not even been released yet. And I'm going to kind of give you a preview of it uh, today. I looked on YouTube. I couldn't find any previews of it yet, so I think you're seeing it for the first time, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. All right, the product is from Phoenix Shaving or Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Copali. And uh, it's a soap and a, an aftershave, and if you look at that, I believe that's supposed to represent a Mayan temple because the scent is black copal. And to be honest with you, I had to look up what black copal is. To me, it's kind of got the scent of a forest, pine. But black copal is actually from a tree that grows in Central, South, and North America, and it was used in ceremonies as an incense for uh, the Mayans and a lot of religious ceremonies, and I believe it's used in Mexico uh, as an incense uh, for uh, the Day of the Dead celebration. So I've got some information inside the description of this video on what the scent profile is, uh, but I really am happy to get it. advanced formula CK6 copy of this uh, before anybody else and a chance to try it. So we are going to be trying out these two items today. I'm going to try a razor I've never used before, and it's also from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and it's the double overhead comb Ascension razor, and it is in, I think, 316L stainless steel, which is a marine grade stainless steel, which is very resistant to staining. I have some razors that are stainless steel. I think it's even uh, ATT above the tie, and I do get some kind of darkening and staining on it, and this is supposed to uh, resist that. Uh, type staining. So I'm going to be, and it's also, it's a three piece uh, adjustable. So when you lock it into place, you can turn it a quarter turn, keep a little slack on it, and it'll open up the blade gap. I like locking my razors in there, but some people want to open it up just a bit so you get a little more aggression. So I'm going to try this out for the first time today, too. And with it, I'm going to use uh, the Saloon Pack Wilkinson Sword Gillette from India. I have some items that uh, are on deck to try. I know you guys have been waiting. Some people have asked. I've got uh, some people said, hey, man, have you tried the Duke Cannon? And I will be trying the Duke Cannon from Helmsman, original scent shave cream. I'm going to be trying that out. My friend Kyle sent me the... Fat tip uh, open comb razor to try. So I've got that to try out coming up. Uh, so many things on deck, and I just want to get through them and give them each uh, the independent evaluation that they all deserve. And for the brush today, first time me using it, it's the uh, from uh, DS Cosmetic, it's the Ken Surfs which is kind of cool, having, having the, the name of the channel's logo on a brush. Ken Surf's uh, Summer 2019 brush. I haven't even tried this one yet, and it has sold more, uh, more items than the Badger brush that I did try. So it appears that the synthetic, and I, I think this is a $10 difference in price, but I believe, to me, the synthetic is a much more popular one. And I'm going to put it in the crystal skull and soak it a little bit as I get this shave ready. So let me clear off some items. I'm going to be right All right. I got a clean surface to work with now. All right. So let's get a blade out of here. How was your 4th of July? I had a blast. I'm still... I think it's just with all the food and staying up late, but uh, we had a party over here and... It, it, I feel like I used to feel when I was hung over, just exhausted. And uh, I didn't drink, but uh, it definitely it definitely was kind of a cool party. Oh, it hurts my ears. All right, the 
three-piece razor. I'm going to open it up. I did watch uh, Ken shaving and BSing. He did a good review on this razor. There's the locking mechanism. We're going to put the blade right in there. Kind of locks into those tabs. Put that on. Tighten it up. Oh, I see. The blade gives some flex, so you can actually, it stays quite snug. And what that will do, that tightens the gap, that loosens the gap. So it's labeled an adjustable razor, not the type that you used to have with the dial. So when no blade is in it and there's no tension on it, the head feels loose, but you could definitely go a quarter of a turn and make that blade a little more aggressive. But I'm gonna keep it right where she's at now because uh, I've never tried this razor before. All right. Oh, zero overhang. Zero blade overhang. And I know I'm talking a lot of stuff of the razor, these items. You can follow the link. I've got a link in the description of this and it's gonna get you right to Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement. It's gonna get you right to this site and you'll be able to read up on these. Okay, oh, let's wet the face. There we go. Yeah, what a great day yesterday, but I did start off with a, a 5K, and uh, here's what that looked like, and I tell you, I was tired at the end, but here's some scenes from that Huntington Beach or Surf City 5K run. <laughs> definitely was tired after that. I don't do, yeah, some of you guys probably laugh. I know uh, I've got a friend, David, who uh, follows the channel. I've met him many times and he does half marathons and marathons and 5K, probably laugh at. Wow, right off the bat, that's what I wanna see in a soap. That is different than that Rizel soap that I used Oh my goodness, that is what I want to see in a soap. That's why I use a brush. I don't want a soap I smear on with my hand. And I'm getting close, I'm not quite there yet, to shaving off the goatee. And uh, uh, some people are saying, hey man, you, how can you have a goatee again? You know, I've mentioned this in the past, uh, and, and still shave and get it, uh, you know, consider yourself a shaving channel. But when you think about it, this is uh, half my face right here. And then this is half of that or a quarter. So this section up here is a quarter of my face and the goatee is less than half of that. So from the t my total body hair or facial hair that I shave off, by leaving that goatee, it's less than a, I'm just leaving an eighth. I'm not touching an eighth of my skin. So. It's really not that much. I'm shaving much more surface area on my cheeks and my neck than I am around here. Now, if I had a full-blown beard, I can see that, you know, shaving my neck might not always be uh, considered a shave. I could always shave my hair off. All right. Right away, I picked up this razor with wet hands, and I can grip it really well. And it is a high polish razor, I've got to admit. Now, it's open comb. And surprisingly smooth. I've had some open combs that I think the AT&T feels very sharp on your skin, those, those combs. That's very smooth. 
very smooth. And I know the price varies on this razor. They have an aluminum, I think they have a copper plated. So you'd have to check out the site and find out uh, what this is selling for exactly today. They're all under $100, I believe. Somewhere, I think it's around 70 bucks, but check the uh, web page for the exact price today because they do have sales and uh, they have aluminum, they have copper, and they have this stainless. Soap's performing very well. It's always a test. If you want to see if you've got a good soap, use an open comb razor, because if you have a bad soap, you're going to cut yourself. That's my experience. Right, the scent's very pleasant. I'm looking forward to trying the aftershave. You know, some people say, well, I use a razor, a, a cartridge razor, because it's very quick. I don't want to make two passes. You wouldn't have to make two passes with that razor and that blade combo that I just used. All right. Very slick. I had some uh, cuts I didn't notice when I did that last shave with the Rizel or the, uh, by the way, the brush holds the soap very well. Look at that. I had some cuts on my neck down here, and I don't think I've reopened those wounds yet. It's only been two days. Thought for sure I would. Definitely got soap all over my hand now, but I can really hang on to that razor. Now I feel the aggression. So what happens when I open it up a quarter turn? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's more aggressive. I'm gonna cut myself if I do that. I'm gonna turn it. You still hear the feedback. I was looking at it going, adjustable? What do you mean adjustable? But now I see why. I know Shaving with Rich did a review on this razor too. That's where I got myself last time. I showed up later. No way do you need a three-pass shave. No way. You want to do it? That's awesome, but you do not need one. I must have done something right on that last video. I had thumbs up, no thumbs down, so... And I realize that sometimes you get a thumbs down because of some stupid thing I said or some stupid thing I didn't notice, but uh, sometimes people just don't like the products. Like if I was shaving with a, uh, can you see that in the background? Just barely. It's a joke, but uh, Soylent Green, <laughs> made of 100% recycled people. You know, I mean, <laughs> that's a joke, but <laughs> if it were legit, I'd be giving it a thumbs down, baby. <laughs> All right. Whew. Looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's a burn. And I know why. It's because that open razor, double open comb razor shaves so damn close. Wow. 
Wow. I'm a glutton <laughs> for punishment here. I like that burn. I know I've done good. Oh, not quite as bad as the first contact. <laughs> wow. Very pleasant scent. And I let, most importantly, I let my wife smell this uh, aftershave and she liked it. And uh, if she wouldn't have, it would have been like, oh, because this stuff, his, the, you know, PAA, Phoenix Shavings stuff, the scents last. So if your wife doesn't like it, you're going to be smelling like it for eight hours. Oh, man, good luck. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And I do look forward to doing another shave real soon. Happy 5th of July, everybody. I was absolutely too busy to do the 4th of July shave, but uh, 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 here we are, the 5th. And the best part is Saturday and Sunday, two more days left of the weekend. All right, everybody. Until next time, it's Ken Searcy. Have a great night. If you want to see these products, uh, the links are in the description of this video. You can just click on it and it'll take you there. All right. Until next time, have a great night.